we got 13 items and the total was $43. <laughs> That's why they call it whole paycheck. Hey guys, I have another haul video for you today featuring some of my favorite snacks that you can get at Whole Foods. So these aren't necessarily the cheapest uh, items that you can buy, but uh, they are some of my favorite and when I see them on sale, I buy them. So hopefully you guys see this and you'll remember the items and when you're at Whole Foods, if you see them on sale, you'll be able to get them. Uh, this isn't sponsored. No one's paid me to do this video. Uh, I bought all this with my own money. So the first item is Living Intentions Superfood Cereal. They often have this in the bulk aisle and I do get it there. I just get a little bit. Uh, it's delicious. This is the Hemp and Greens and it's enhanced with spirulina, chlorella, spinach, alfalfa, and dandelion, but you cannot taste. It's kind of like a, well it is, it's a sprouted, vegan, nut-free, raw, gluten-free granola, but it tastes delicious. It is uh, green. A serving is a half cup, under 200 calories, five grams of protein, and uh, 13 grams of sugar. So what I like to do with this is I either like to top it on some Greek yogurt, or I like to get these chia pods, and I'll put some of the Living Intentions uh, granola on top. So this is my second item. This is a chia pod, and yes, you can make it at home, but I think these are super cute, and they're easy to pack on the go. They have a spoon built into the top. Also, you can seal the lid back on top. So if you don't finish it in one sitting, you can save it for later. This whole chia pod is 164 calories, five grams of fiber, uh, three grams of protein, and 10 sugars, uh, 10 grams of fat, but really all that's in it are chia seeds, coconut milk, vanilla bean, and cinnamon. That's it. I also really like the mango flavor. It's delicious. The third one is another Living Intentions item. Again, this is expensive. I don't buy it all the time. Uh, I usually get it in the bulk section and only buy a little bit at a time, but this is my favorite trail mix at Whole Foods. It's the sprouted trail mix. Again, it's raw, it's vegan, it's gluten-free, and it's the mango goji fire. It comes with spicy mango, almonds, goji berries, cashews, pumpkin seeds, Sunflower seeds, green raisins, sultanas, which I don't know, currants and habanero. So it's spicy, which makes you eat it slower, which is super essential when it comes to uh, trail mix, because if you're like me, you could eat a whole bag easily. There are seven servings in this bag, and I think this cost me about eight or nine dollars. So it's about a dollar per serving. So when you get home, make sure you portion it out so that you're not eating uh, an $8 snack. And continuing with the raw, vegan, organic lifestyle, I found these. These were on sale and that's why I bought them. I know I like them, so I bought them because they were on sale. It's by Go Raw and these are real life foods. These are spirulina super chips. They're a little bit sweet and crunchy and for 22 pieces, that's one serving, it's 160 calories, four grams of fiber, uh, 12 sugars, three protein. I love these, they're so good, and spirulina gives you a little bit of energy and it also has some protein in it. These are gluten-free, wheat-free, and nut-free, and they're organic. Continuing on, we have some more basic uh, snack items that I got at Whole Foods today. I have uh, Health Warrior Chia Bars. These also were on sale for just a dollar. Um, this was the coconut flavor, and here is the chocolate peanut butter. These are my favorite two flavors. Uh, there's 100 calories in each one. I'm going to be traveling pretty soon over to Europe, as I told you guys. Um, I actually might be there while you're watching this. And so these are my go-tos that keep in my bag, soy-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, uh, help keep you feeling full while you're on the go. One thing that is a little bit more practical, um, and they have them at Whole Foods, they have um, these raw cashew butter packets. I love cashew butter and Whole Foods, you can get them in individual packets so you don't overeat and also you can bring them on the go. So I also picked up a Fuji apple, but then also, I also grabbed some celery. You can either do the celery ready to go with the cashew butter or you could do the apple. Either one is gonna work, but these are some of my favorite snack ideas that I get at Whole Foods. Um, it's hard to find these cashew butters um, places other than Whole Foods. I love Artisana. And my last few ones we have uh, here, I had uh, kombucha on sale. I'm a huge fan of kombucha. It has some enzymes, probiotics, and antioxidants. They help keep you regular, as they say. Um, it's organic, and I'm just a huge fan of kombucha right now, so I put it in my snack bag. And then the last thing, and I've never had this, um, but 
it was a new product and I love looking at new products, a salted caramel Think Thin. When we were at Whole Foods, we saw salted caramel flavored ice cream bars, uh, cookie sandwiches. It's like the hot new flavor of the moment. And uh, this is only 150 calories, 10 grams protein. So I'm gonna try this out and I will let you guys know. Follow me on Instagram to uh, see what I think of it. I'll let you know there, Sarah Fit. So when we were at Whole Foods, there are so many items. I'm probably one of the most annoying people to go grocery shopping with. I was joking around, we could title the name of the video, how to go grocery shopping with a super annoying girl that looks at every single label, or how to spend the most amount of money on the least amount of items at Whole Foods. But we're gonna settle on my favorite snacks at Whole Foods haul. So I know some of these are probably out of budget for many of you. I mean, I don't buy them regularly because they are expensive, but definitely look for them on sale and some of them you can find in the bulk bin. So just try a little bit. They are some of my favorites and if you buy them in moderation, um, they aren't that expensive and if you portion them out, they do end up being a lot cheaper. The most expensive item that I did buy was the superfood cereal. I think it was about nine or eight dollars and there are only five servings in it. So make sure that you do portion it out when you get home so that you're not eating a uh, $10 bag of granola. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. What are some of your favorite food finds at Whole Foods? Let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe.